Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Just want to say what a great month I had. I got to go to Singapore to give a talk at the World Congress of Dermatology on social media and patient education. I'm using our different platforms to spread good information, credible information to improve patient outcomes globally. Now, the other thing I got to do was go to New York City with my family and see two of my billboards up in Times Square. And is uh, one of them I got to work with Charlie D'Amelio and film it at Zap King Studio. So such a great opportunity. Thank you guys for your support and thank you for watching these videos. Today's video is a special one because it's the skincare routine I would use if I were to go to the beach. The summertime is a lot warmer. Hopefully we can go to the beach a little bit longer here in Seattle before it becomes dark and rainy once again. Me coming from Hawaii, very much a custom to going to the beach like every day throughout the summer. I have really great memories of going to the beach. My hair would just get bleached red back in the day. And I remember we wouldn't be wearing those UPF clothing like rash guards, sun shirts at the beach. We would just take our shirts off and not really wear sunscreen. Even though sunscreen was available back in the day, we were actually not using them much. And so big regrets for someone in my late 30s. Now I have to say to all you youngins out there, wear your sunscreen. And sunscreen is very important during the summer especially. Let's just jump into this routine now. First off, you wake up, wash your face, use something gentle. Don't have to get too crazy with it. If you have dry skin, you can use CeraVe's Hydrating Cleanser or La Roche-Posay's Hydrating, Tolarian Hydrating Cleanser. If you have oily to combination skin, use their foaming cleanser. CeraVe makes a good foaming facial cleanser and the La Roche-Posay Tolarian Purifying Foaming Cleanser is great for people with oily to combination skin. And then after that, you can go ahead and use a vitamin C serum, your favorite vitamin C serum to protect your skin from free radical damage, free radical oxidative stress from the sun when you sit out at the beach and playing at the beach. So you can do something very affordable like Naturium's vitamin C serum that comes in a nice airtight pump, has a stable vitamin C with some gold and glutathione. I love the texture of this and you can find it at Target, Amazon online. If you wanna go for a higher price point, I like Alto's Defense Serum which has 19 antioxidants including vitamin C, vitamin and E, a bunch of other goodies like cocoa, coffee leaf extract, and then some other things like lenolic and lenolenic acid. And so I like to use this before your sunscreen. This does not replace sunscreen. The other high price splurge item that you could consider would be SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. Very similar price point to Skin Better Sciences Alto, and I'd say they're both very good. This has vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid, whereas this has just a ton of antioxidants packed in, which we're all liking efficient skincare. After this, you can go ahead and put a moisturizer on or a sunscreen, just slap your sunscreen right over it because usually I'm in a rush getting out. So go ahead and put your sunscreen on. So what sunscreen would I apply going to, before going to the beach or working out? A water resistant sunscreen. Now you're gonna see that on the label, whether it's on sticks, which you see a lot of times water resistant 40 or 80 minutes. And if it's 40 minutes, minutes water resistance and I say technically you should be reapplying every 40 minutes. If it's 80 minutes you should be reapplying every 80 minutes if you're gonna be jumping in the pool or in the ocean. Say if I wanted a tinted sunscreen, you can tell I love the sunscreen. It's the LTM to UV element. This one's a tinted sunscreen of zinc oxide and it says water resistant 40 minutes. So if you wanna go to the beach and you wanna protect from visible light outside, that blue light, because you have melasma, hyperpigmentation, your skin of color and you have hyperpigmentation, you wanna go for a sunscreen with tint. Iron oxides give the tint. If you're gonna just hang out on the beach but not really go jump in the water and you just want something to really protect yourself, I got this in Paris. So when I was in Paris with La Roche-Posay to see their new thermal center, I bought this UV Immune 400. So this filter is special because it blocks long wave UVA. Now UVA can be blocked by zinc oxide, but titanium dioxide, not a very good UVA one blocker. The longer wavelengths, it doesn't block very well, whereas zinc oxide will block UVA one and two well. So what we have here is a UV Immune filter that we can only get in Europe. It will block longer wave UV, which will be very good because we want to block the those longer wavelengths that go deeper into our skin and can really cause photo aging and even contribute to hyperpigmentation. This one does not say water resistance. I just wanna show you how this looks. They even have a tinted form too, but look how fast that just absorbs. So the European filters, just like in Asia, are just superior. We have a limited supply of UV filters in the US. So unfortunate that we're lagging on the times with the chemical UV filters. So this one is a nice one to consider if you're not gonna jump in the pool. 
But if you want to jump into the water, go with something water resistant. This is tinted that will block the visible light spectrum. Now the sunscreen I discovered last year, Ulta MD UV Sheer. This is a hybrid sunscreen like the UV Clear, but that one is not water resistant. Whereas this one has the water resistant 80 minute designation. So this is a nice one to put on before the beach. Very lightweight because you have that hybrid nature of having uh, zinc oxide and octocrylene. So I like this one a lot. It's just so lightweight, makes my skin feel nice and um, dewy, but doesn't overdo it. So, so I like this one a lot. Now, if you want to go for kids sunscreens, La Roche-Posay makes the Anthelios kids. But the only thing is for a lot of us parents, we worry about, hey, we don't know what these chemical UV filters do internally, and we don't have any data to show that it's dangerous. But if you are worried about what it could do to our child that's developing, you know, this does have chemical UV filters, and you can always go for something else with mineral UV filters uh, only, like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. I, for myself, I will use this sunscreen for myself very liberally for my body because it is six point, almost seven fluid ounces. It is water resistant, 80 minutes, it's gentle. So I will use that for my body especially and wear a UPF sun shirt as well. Back in the day, I never did, but now we have UPF clothing available even at Costco. And the nice thing about it is that UPF clothing, you don't have to reapply and it's like ready to go as soon as you step out. So there's different, you can get it at Amazon, they have uh, sun shirts with UPF material. They have caps, hats with it. So check that out. Uh, always look for the UPF designation, especially if it's 50 plus, UPF 50 plus, I believe it's 98% of UV rays are blocked with UPF clothing. Now, if you wanna go for something that's water resistant in a larger size, I use Blue Lizard Sensitive, and then the Sheer Lotion 50 plus is water resistant 80 minutes. So this is a nice one to consider for the kiddos because as you can see, there's only titanium and zinc oxide in this. So it's mineral based only, and it's nice and portable but it's not too small. It's three fluid ounces that you could put into your bag. And then the Sport is also water resistant 80 minutes in a larger size, but this one is a hybrid. This has titanium and zinc, but also has octosalate. So not fully mineral, but it comes in this nice little jar that's much bigger, much larger volume. Always shake your sunscreen before applying. So those are good body sunscreens to consider. Now, people who worry about their sweat, they get in the water and things start to leak down to their face. What do I do for sunscreen that stings my eyes and leaks into my eyes, what do I do? I like stick sunscreens. Neutrogena makes a nice one. Cetaphil makes a very affordable one. The MD Solar Sciences, uh, this is one that I have out. The texture is much harder, right? So it's a harder texture. So applying it around the eyes, it's easy, right? It's easy, very easy to do. And it's because of that harder texture, it sticks differently from liquidy, lightweight sunscreen. And a lot of them are mineral based and water resistant. Like this one is 80 minutes water resistant. So I always say five swipes, four to five swipes over an area is an adequate amount. The big downside to wearing a, using a stick is that you can't quantify when enough is enough versus like liquid sunscreens, lotions, the creamy sunscreens. It's half a teaspoon amount is enough for your face, ears, and neck. For this though, you have to do four to five swipes over an area, five just in case. This does leave a white cast. A lot of these stick sunscreens that are mineral based, which I don't mind. I don't mind that at all because it's actually nice to see where you missed a spot. If you know, I see a lot of skin cancers lining the upper part of the forehead, ears, back of the neck. So it's good to see if you missed a certain area. And just having this run over a flat surface after, say, playing golf, and you're not having to rub your hands or your dirty hands from the golf course all over your face. Sticks really come in handy. The other sunscreen stick that I've been using that's a little bit more of a bougie price point of skin, Better Science, they make this sheer stick that's water resistant 80 minutes. This texture is a lot softer and I actually ruined it because I put the cap on while the stick was out. So I, I, I didn't push it back in and I put the cap on and kind of got mineral uh, sunscreen all over the place. But this is a softer texture, but also water resistant. This stick is SPF 56. The counterpart lotion is the SPF 70 water resistant 80 minute sheer. You can get a tinted form or a non-tinted form. And this was a nice cute little like travel uh, size. It's half a fluid ounce. So this one is a nice one for traveling. It's good stuff. I don't want to waste this. It's expensive sunscreen. Put this on my face. But that goes on pretty, pretty thick there. Try and rub this in. It's zinc and titanium. It probably leaves a little bit of a white cast. It is kind of thick. Just keep that in mind. That, but this is water resistant. Go right ahead and put this on your face. The price point comes with more of the goodies. You got Allentoin, the Sabalol, so very soothing ingredients here. We got glycerin. We got the olive fruit extracts. We got squalane, which is also hydrating and moisturizing. The Skin Better 
science just likes to put in a good amount of ingredients into their products, which is nice. So you got the vitamin E, you got some green tea in this guy, panthenol. So a good amount of nice things in this that will be hydrating and you got some antioxidant benefits as well. But the texture wise, you could probably find something a little lighter weight. And if you wanna try out the tinted one, I do use that one quite a bit. And that one's in my wool bag right now upstairs. Next, if you wanna go for something that's a spray, I wanna talk about Ulta MD's antioxidant mist. This is water resistant 40 minutes and only zinc in it. So this is a nice one to consider if, you, if you're a guy, you have a lot of hair on the body and you don't wanna just be smearing a cr thick creamy sunscreen in, the spray is nice. If you're follicularly deficient and you wanted to spray the top of your head from the sun, because I'm finding a lot of skin cancers on guys who are, who are losing their hair or women with the part widening and finding skin cancers in the part, you wanna spray the part, you can use a spray here that's water resistant. Another spray that is water resistant is Play by Super Goop. This is a chemical UV filter spray. This one has vitamin C. So we got antioxidants in this guy. The LTMD antioxidant mist is trying to compete with this. This is mineral only. This one is chemical based, both water resistant, but this is 80 minutes versus the 40 minutes. Other option would be a scalp and hair mist by say uh, Sunbum. This is another one that you can consider. This one has chemical UV filters though. If you want just mineral, then go for uh, this one here. And this hair, scalp and hair spray is water resistant 80 minutes. So just keep that in mind. This is one of my kids favorite brands. I like the brand. My kids like the baby bum line. They like the, the stick and the sunscreen cream. And they say it feels nice and smooth on their skin. So that's a a popular brand in my family. Blue Lizard does make a active sunscreen here spray that's zinc oxide only and water resistant 80 minutes. So we have options that are sprays. Always make sure that when you use a spray, make sure it is not in a windy area because you wanna make sure that the UV particle, the UV filter particles really get evenly spread onto your skin so that you don't have any skip areas that will lead to sunburn. When you apply this, I'd say, three to four passes of your spray, maybe four passes with your spray is important because that's another critique is that you don't know how much to apply when it comes to a mist. Reapplication is huge. You can use a spray every two hours. Sun sticks are very convenient for that. You can do a spray after you're done, hopefully no sunburns. But if you do have sunburns that we talk about ibuprofen, there was a crazy TikTok out where someone was saying, hey, take ibuprofen to prevent yourself from sunburns. Don't do that. A lot of NSAIDs can cause photosensitivity. Ibuprofen is an NSAID, but that one less likely to cause photosensitivity. But you would do that afterwards if you have a sunburn to help with the pain, the inflammation, the inflammatory cytokines in your skin going on when you have a burn, it, it could lessen that. But talk to your doctor, make sure you're okay to take ibuprofen. Aloe gel is, uh, is very popular for sunburns. Moisturizing is huge because as you peel, you exfoliate the sun from the sunburn, you're gonna get very itchy. So moisturize very well after a sunburn. And then, you know, when I'm done with the, uh, the, a day of being at the beach, I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna use something with acne fighting ingredients like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. Cause most of the time growing up, when I used to break out it was after the beach and it was all the gross grime that I would collect in my temples. And I would get those pimples in the temples. I even get that when I go camping now. So CeraVe's acne control cleanser, which is 2% salicylic acid or the renewing SA cleanser, stuff like that are nice. La Roche-Posay makes the Effaclar medicated gel cleanser with 2% salicylic acid. Another salicylic acid cleanser you can consider, this is 2% salicylic acid by Skin Fix. This is a very good brand, but beta hydroxy acid, that's a salicylic acid is a type of beta hydroxy acid. So beta hydroxy acids are oil soluble. They go down into the pore and clean out pores very well. So this is another salicylic acid cleanser to consider. Other things you could use would be benzoyl peroxide. Got CeraVe's acne foaming cream cleanser with 4% benzoyl peroxide. I can't wait to try their 10% benzoyl peroxide cleanser. That's very new. I still need to get my hands on that. The 10% by Differen, their benzoyl peroxide cleanser is nice. Just be careful with benzoyl peroxide when you use it to wash your face and body is that you wanna make sure it's all off before you put your clothes on or you dry yourself with towels because that will definitely bleach your stuff and you're not gonna be happy or your spouse or mother won't be happy. If you have makeup, sunscreen, and you don't really want those actives because you're sensitive or you're allergic to them, CeraVe's Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser, a nice option at the end of the day, and then moisturize well. If you have a sunburn, 
don't use your retinoids or a vitamin C serum. Just let it chill. Just use a moisturizer and don't use anything with active ingredients really. You don't put salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide over an area that is burned. Just use something gentle. CeraVe's hydrating cleanser. This one is probably going to be okay, but maybe something very, very gentle. Maybe just run cool water over it. You don't really have to use soap over a burned area. Just some cool water. If it is blistering though, you want to make sure those blisters don't lead to infection. So I wouldn't say peel off off on roof blisters and reveal the base that's raw and could get infected. I always say if there's a blister, see your dermatologist to see how to decompress the blister safely, but never unroof and peel off the roof because the roof, what we want is that if it does decompress, it falls straight onto the wound and it acts as a biologic bandage or dressing. We don't want to pull that off because that skin is actually important to help protect the layer, the base under the, at the bottom of the blister. So just keep that in mind, okay? If you're hot at the beach and you want a nice bougie spray while you're hanging out and you want to spray yourself while you're hot. I like La Roche-Posay's thermal uh, spring water. So you just hydrating spray. You want to just get it to cool down. This is a nice spray. If you want to do this at night before you go to bed and you want to get a nice hydrating moisturizer or serum, to help lock in uh, and absorb all that moisture you got from this, go right ahead. But if you have a burn, this is also really nice to just kind of soothe your kids. I hope your kids don't get burns because when you get a sunburn before age 18 or 20 in your early years, that can really lead to the DNA damage down the line. So, but this is just a very calming, soothing spray that you could consider. Okay, now that I'm all wet, I'm gonna have to end this video. So that's my routine for the beach. Hope you guys have a nice summer. Please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys for the next video. All right, guys, peace.